How's it going everyone? It's Orsi Mral back with an old new video. In this video, what I promised you guys before about creating fur balls or a fur... Uh, I don't know what you call that, but it's something furry. <laughs> so, we're gonna be creating that fur sort of cushion or pillow today inside of Cinema 4D. You can ex export it as a 3D object just in case you don't use it. You can extract it as an image, you can extract it as a whole preview or whatever you want. But just in case, for the sake of this tutorial, let's get straight into it. So we're going to be using the same nebula, I don't know why I use the same nebula, but we're going to be using the same nebula. The very first thing that we need to do is to head over and create a landscape. I generally prefer working around with landscape because they provide a lot of things that you cannot literally go ahead and use in spheres. So I'm pretty much going to go and take down the size of landscape to 200 by 200. Let's take the width segment to be 50, depth segment to be 50, or maybe crank them up to 100. They are pretty much dope like 100, but you need not the width segment currently because we can't see only that the sphere is not gonna work like that. So let's take down the fine for rough force to be 0, fine for 0, and factory level to be 0 so that we get a perfect sphere. Yep, here we have it. Now we need to add some mesh deformers to it, and that's where my favorite part begins. I just love deformers. So just go ahead and let's add a um shatter or uh, you can also work around explosion they really provide you with good results let's take the strength to be 100 or maybe 50 yep um so it's it's not lagged like that but you need to be thinking of it i don't know why i'm doing this oh wow what was that let's take down the randomness Maybe just I should adjust a 0 0.2 and let's see angle speed then it's nothing that much Let's take it 150 degrees and let's improve the strength according to us and There we go. I want something like this. I want it to be a bit of stood up from the place that currently it is Maybe like 20% something like that Let's create a new material. Go ahead and create a new material. I don't know why it's not creating. Just double click here. You can also go ahead and use all these things here, but the channels should be turned off. So just go to material, turn off the color channel, reflection channel, turn on the luminance, and let's create a uh, texture. Let's load up our nebula here, which I previously used. This one's also given below in the description, just in case you want to use it. Drag and drop, displacement channel, enable it, sub polygon displacement six. Let's enable round geometry, just in case if it was very quick really easy go ahead load the texture take it over to displacement and we have it now let me show you what we get here if you enable this and if i render it out now so you can see we're getting those spikies that we want here but first thing that i'm going to be i'm going to be taking over to our settings and maybe i should adjust it by a bit because i'm having way too much of the things going on rendering here so we uh, okay there we go we have it perfectly fine up now let's go ahead and do one more thing. Let's go ahead and go to our material. Let's crank up the height to be 50. And sub polygon division to be 4. I don't want to take too much rendering time. And we have it, something like that. You can always go ahead and create a background for better view and better things. Go on, go on. Take it RGB. I don't want to like hue saturation and vibrance, but I prefer it on RGB. So you can go ahead and use it according to yourself. Like whatever you want to use, like doesn't really matter and yep there we have it now let's render this out this is gonna take time because every time you use deformers and every time particle increases this generally improves the displacement generation map so wait for it now let's render it out quick pretty quick <laughs> it's working but yep it's it does work we get a result that we're pretty much hoping for and let's go ahead and switch it according to the view where i think it should be oh i went way too much deep inside okay let's render it out again there we go i don't know why i created this first it'd be grassy type of effect it should be called grassy i think it's looking like a grass so this is what you could do with deformers inside if you use them so this is what you can do with deformers inside if you use them inside of cinema 4d and literally apply it and use according to your own imagination now things could then be more better if you go ahead and remove the shatter and apply an explosion to it so if you go ahead and apply an explosion deformer to the landscape and increase the strength or maybe around like i don't know 85 percent 
So you know those popping effects like everything they blow up in birthdays and do all that stuff so if you render this out this is gonna look just the same like those. Depends according to the vibrance if you go ahead and go to the matte enable glow let's take it to 200 and something like that inner strength to be 80 and there we go if I apply the same material to that and we render it out again so our uh, material that they stand out a little bit more just a bit more and if I go ahead and explosion and take down the strength maybe just by a bit something like that go ahead and increase crank not crank up the end maybe just by a bit increase the crank of the end size also change uh, angle speeds randomly around you can experiment for it and now render it out so there we go it's something really awesome you can go ahead and do a lot more like increasing the amount of where it is segments in the landscape if you go ahead and increase the amount of segments here like 500 this is gonna cause issues until or unless you don't have a good PC I'm not gonna do that I'm definitely not gonna do that so I hope you enjoyed this video make sure that you like and subscribe for more tutorials coming in cinema 40 and I don't know what I'm gonna be creating else so I hope that will be for today I'm sorry to from Frosty Tech also follow me on Instagram it's underscore he sort of and that will be it I'm sorry to from Frosty Tech signing up I said that twice <laughs>